When you begin to download the app that we will be using for this particular conference, it's called BAND, capital B-A-N-D. And this was sent to you via your email. And in order to download this app, do so through your phone rather than your desktop. That way the app will actually be loaded on your phone as opposed to you having to do that as an additional step. If you open up the email in your phone, you'll see that particular link. Click on that link, uh, open through your appropriate browser, and this will take you to this particular title page. When you get to this particular title page, there are two boxes, a green box and a white box. The white box is if you already use BAND for other particular services or applications. But for most of us, we probably don't have the BAND app on our phone. And so we're going to cho choose the green box and click on that green box. And not only will it download the app, but it will take you into the appropriate BAND. So click on the green box and that will take you into the app store here you'd have to download it i already own this on my phone so all i had to do is click to open but you'll go ahead and download and then there'll be a brief registration period and when you are set of steps when you go through this those couple of steps of re registration then you'll be taken into the kansas band here i have two so i had to choose the ki AAA band uh, you won't have a choice of two. You'll go directly into this particular site here. Now, this is the home page uh, for the conference app, and it's actually pretty easy to, pretty intuitive to walk through once that you get used to looking at the several screens that you'll be looking at. Most significantly are the six icons at the bottom of this home page. To begin with, we're going to choose the bottom right hand icon, the gear icon, and click on that. When you click on that, you're going to see three choices. Go to the bottom of those three, the one that says My Settings, and click on My Settings. That will open up this particular screen that just allows you to personalize your particular band. Your band profile you set up perhaps when you uh, initially downloaded this particular application onto your phone. But just in case you didn't, uh, click on the band profile button right at the top. And this will allow you to load back in a picture. If you didn't load one initially or you want to change that picture, you can click on the camera. You can either take a picture or down one, load one that's already in your camera. Most of the other settings that are on this page you're going to leave just as is. You want to receive chat messages. You want to receive push notifications. You want to receive all of the posts. And most importantly, in events where that's clicked all, make sure that stays at all. Because when you click on that, it shows all events, RSVPs, and reminders or reminders only. You want to receive information about all of the events. So make sure that that particular heading stays clicked at all. Uh, don't click the off button. Uh, then as you continue to scroll down, there are some additional information like if you wanted notifications in your email, probably you don't. Uh, if you do want notifications to hit your email, you can make that choice as well. Click the X button at the top and come back to the home screen when you're done on those settings. And now we're going to go through the meat of the application. And that is the calendar tab, which is in the very center, third from the left. Click on that calendar, and this is what opens up. This is a calendar of our events for this particular conference. You see the June 1, 2, and 3 have little blue buttons on them. And when I click June 1, here are the events of the day that are happening on uh, Tuesday. So I can scroll through each of those particular events and identify the time that they are located. When I want to know more information, like the opening general session, if I just click on that, it will give me who the speaker is, uh, more specific about the locations here. In this case, it's studios A, B, and C. And here's the information that we really want you to include for each particular event as well. Whether you attend uh, to be present or not, 
indicate by clicking that join button. You can also set up your own reminders whether you want those 10 minutes, 30 minutes, uh, whatever particular time frame that you want and make your reservations by identifying join, decline, Hopefully you'll you'll be decided beyond maybe, but uh, we want you to set those particular uh, indicators as to whether you're going to be present in these particular sessions as well. It just helps us for planning, seating, and especially when we get to meals, uh, reservations for headcounts for meals. Also, there's often additional information in about that particular session. In this particular case, there is an additional dialogue and picture regarding this particular general session speaker. If you want to read more about that, you can click on or just push, touch that particular window and it will enlarge and you can scroll it back and forth so that you can read the dialogue uh, there more easily. Click the X at the top, bring you back to that particular event. The arrow at the upper top will take you back to the home screen so that you can see the next particular events and scroll down uh, through those. If we click on the network social, for example, you see that that's located in the mezzanine. All of the events have an additional banner associated with them showing the time and the place. And again, a reservation set of options join or decline so that we can know what the anticipated in attendance is going to be. Now note when you're back on this screen you're back in June you're not on the May uh, calendar so make sure that you don't click the one two three at the bottom of the screen they're June 1st, 2nd, 3rd they have the blue, bo blue dots up at the top and you can choose each of the particular days and identify if we go to June 2, you can scroll through the particular events that are taking place there and click on any of those particular uh, events and learn more detail about them. For example, if I want to check uh, Workshop 2A, uh, I can see that where this particular event is taking place and put my reservations in uh, for that. Also, especially for meals like the luncheon, like the ban banquet on Tuesday evening for the breakfast and the dinner on Thursday, we want you to really make sure that you indicate whether you're joining or declining these particular events so that we can do uh, head counts for those and know who's attending. Also in the workshop sessions, make sure that you indicate whether you'll be present at those or not because there are limited uh, seats in in each of those and we need to provide reservations for those as well. You can also click on the participants tab at the bottom and here you can scroll through the individuals that are attending. If you click their a little icon out to the right of them, this would take you into a, a chat box so you can have an individual chat uh, with that particular person that you chose. As opposed to sending them a chat through your phone, you can do that through band. It is confidential. You can also post information by either clicking on the blue tab or the little uh, scroll uh, and pencil at the top of the page and post information there. Now keep in mind that the entire uh, conference attendees are able to see your posts, so keep them PG. But we do want to encourage your engagement. We want to hear uh, questions, comments, uh, whether you like the event, whether you didn't like the event, uh, anything else that you might uh, have that would uh, be of interest uh, to people. You can also, when somebody posts something, you can comment within their post. This is what is um, called a shout. And this doesn't go out to the general post, but it stays within that person's comment. And that person that made that post can also uh, indicate or see how many people read their particular post by the red by and green button there at the top. So <clears throat> that's just a little brief overview of BAND. We want you to go back and uh, spend the next couple of days going through it, getting familiar with it. You've got it in front of you a week and a half ahead of the conference time. So by sending it out to you well ahead of time, we hope that you take the chance to uh, 